Right now, what I want to talk about is what people are talking about, the memorials that are being taken down, Lincoln Memorial vandalized with red spray paint, Shock. and part of the, this particular one, and at the, the, the Lincoln Memorial, yes. they literally carved out in the pillars there, they carved out so they never can be repaired, they're saying. Which is so heartbreaking. If you've ever been, most Ameri okay. every every American should go to Washington, D.C. and see the memorials. But the so, thing is, to I, see that and to say they're not going to be able to fix it. Abraham but, Lincoln Monument. Here's another headline from the Washington Times. Abraham Lincoln Monument torched in Chicago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. An absolute disgraceful act. Can you believe the Washington Times is saying that? An absolute disgrace, and it is. We're, we're still dealing with root issues. And what we're seeing now is the manifestation of what has not been taken care of roots. This is a part of our history. And to destroy that good, bad, or ugly, history is history. Now, it may be a, a better ideal to put all these statues into a museum and let the people go. Abraham Lincoln needs to go to a museum? No, I'm just saying from the world's point of view. This is a point, this is a part of our history. Duke University yes. removed already Robert E. Lee. Uh -huh. I was just with some very well-known people. I won't give their name. Sure. Well, they're gonna come on my show and so I'll let them tell them. Why. But they are relatives of Robert E. Lee. Yes. And the mother, the wife, she's relatives of another of the, the, the leaders of the Civil War. Right. And these monuments should be memorials, not, Can not to honor them or anything. And then here's another big, big headline. Let's get rid of Mount Rushmore. <laughs> and then there's the one in, a, in Georgia. Yeah. You know Georgia, don't you? Stone Mountain. It will never Stone Mountain. They want to bring down, anyone. they want to explode but Stone Mountain. Jim, so the, but the people are not understanding yeah. what's going on. Can you explain yeah. I, it to I, us? I want to jump in on that. And someone who is very close to me say, please don't go on national television and say all the statues are idols. But I just said it on national, it is national <laughs> television. Let me explain what I mean by that. Uh, in the Bible, we are warned, little children, keep yourselves from idols. Right, so I know that one. The same thing happens if I find myself in front of a statue or something and I'm admiring it and thinking all of this. I'm saying, this is getting close to worship. Mm -hmm. And so I'm supposed to keep myself from idols. These are inanimate objects that are used to remind us of some good work that someone does. But I know, God knowing all things, knew that in 2017, there were going to be people in America trying to tear down statues and right. fight and curse and mess them up. Right. So let's go back into context to remember that these were should have been these, probably maybe not at all, but we've got all these statues everywhere. So the answer is not to burn them or tear them down or blow up Mount Rushmore or blow up Stone Mountain. Right, right. That is not the answer. No. In returning to God, say, God, you warned us. You told us this kind of thing could happen. We are very sorry. We worship you. And so if America goes into an act of worship and prayer, right. then the context will come. We don't want to erase our history because if you erase your history, you're going to repeat it because you'll right. forget and the next generation won't remember. Right. So we have to remember, right. but let them not be idols. Right. Yes. And then with yes. that, what, you know. We must remember things, slavery yeah, though. You have to remember. Is that right or am I wrong? You, you Black children remember. need to know there yeah. was slavery. Right. right. And however, we were emancipated right. by a, a God used the president to do that. We must remember that. But, but just remember, we're not supposed to be fighting over these people. And not repeat it. Yes, ever. We don't, we go. Yeah. Pastor not Jim, you said something. Should we. Uh, annihilated, should we get rid of? No, we're not saying that. Uh, memorials are, are very important. When, when the children of Israel came out of slavery, when they came out of Egypt, uh, when Joshua was crossing the Jordan, what did he say? St take stones out of this river, place them on the river bank for you, number one, and for your children, number two. So when they see these stones, 
they will ask, why are these stones here? Then you remind them that it was God that brought us through what we've just come through. Amen. So those memorials are there, not there to worship. They're there as a remembrance. You never want to erase history because history lets us know what we've come through to get to where we are today. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. When I saw the statue come down where the, the girl went up and lassoed the soldier, and they got a close-up there of the statue as it was coming down. And honestly, do you know what it said? It was says, in memory mm -hmm. of the soldiers That's right. who had fought in the right. war and gave up their lives. Right. Thousands of soldiers died right. fighting yeah. for what they believed. Yes. And m most of them went because they were called to serve, you know. And so... It was and when I read that on that statue, it says, in memory of what they did, that's not a bad the thing. The fact that they died, but now, see, 2017, mm -hmm. Father, on every side we got it wrong. We've messed up a lot. Yeah. Please forgive us and heal us. Yeah. Yes. And let us forget our wounded hearts and broken hearts. And remember that you are the healer through the blood of your son by the sure. power of your Holy Spirit. Sure. So we turn away from the hate and we embrace your love. And that's the answer to it. That's the way you do that. So you know that they suffered. Brothers fought brothers yeah. across those lines. It's shocking. And you see, and so all of that has to be healed. But the only way to do it is still repent. That's it. Number for one. every wrong on every side. Yes. And didn't the president say that? He said there's wrong on both sides. Oh, Lord. That's hard to see. But we all have to come and repent together, right. recognize the hurt on both sides. Yes. Jim, you're totally right. There was pain on both sides. Yes. And ask God to heal us.